What's up, mobile devs? Today, we are going to recreate from scratch this amazing animation in React Native. So if you are not new on my channel, you may probably recognize this animation right here, since it was my first animation on my first video in this channel. The video was called, the video actually is called Introduction to Reanimated 2. And uh, basically this time we are going to recreate this animation, but uh, we are going to use a completely different approach. In fact, we are going to use the React Native animated APIs instead of reanimated. So in this video, we are going basically to cover uh, this animation and we are going to compare the two different approaches. The first one used by reanimated and the second one used by uh, the React Native animated APIs. So if you like this kind of content or if you enjoy this type of animation videos, don't forget, of course, to subscribe to my channel. So that said, we can finally get again our hands dirty. So here I've created a React Native project with the Expo CLI. In this tutorial, uh, I haven't installed uh, any type of uh, package since we are just going to use uh, animated from React Native. So uh, at this point, let's try to build the square in the center of the screen. So let's define the view with styles dot square style let's specify here the style and uh, it will have a width equal to 100 and a height equal to 100 and a background color equal to blue so with a 0 0.5 opacity here it is so um, for now we can uh, already start actually to focus uh, on uh, uh, the animation and the first step uh, is uh, to animate the opacity of the square right here so uh, let's create a progress animated value. So let's specify use ref with the new animated value with the initial value equal to zero and let's say dot current. So um, here we can see that uh, we are using uh, uh, animated from React Native and not animated from reanimated. So uh, this type of uh, uh, animated value is quite similar to the um, shared value that uh, we can uh, retrieve in React Native Reanimated by using the hook use shared value. So um, uh, actually we want to create uh, uh, an animation with the opacity. We want to animate progress from value zero to value one with the timing animation. And in order to do it, let's use use effect from React and uh, let's use uh, animated timing. And uh, uh, in, inside the, this method, that is uh, uh, a method from animated, uh, we need to pass the uh, value, so uh, the progress, and we need to pass uh, the uh, animated timing animation config. So um, for now, uh, let's uh, just specify uh, two different values. The first one is the parameter to value. So since we want to animate from zero to value one, we need to specify just the value one right here. And the second parameter is the use native driver parameter. And for now, let's specify just false. So in order to start the animation, we need to pass uh, to call the start method. So um, the last step, the final step in order to um, animate with a, a kind of fade in fade out animation is to pass the opacity style to the square right here. So let's assign to the opacity the progress va value. So here we can see uh, actually that TypeScript is complaining and that's because we need to specify that this view right here is an animated view since we are passing uh, uh, inside this style um, an animated value. So here, let's say animated view. Let's refresh and we can see uh, our uh, fading animation. So um, actually let's focus uh, on this uh, kind of use native driver parameter. I told you to use, uh, uh, to assign just the value false, but uh, what is this kind of uh, use native driver? Basically um, in uh, React Native, uh, um, all the animations uh, Relies, rely on the communication between the JavaScript thread and the main thread. So uh, with the use native driver set to false, we are uh, using the default approach from React Native. 
but actually uh, we have a different option. Since this animation can be uh, entirely uh, calculated at compile time, uh, React Native can retrieve all the frames uh, at the beginning of the animation and can send just once all the frame of the animation to the main thread. So, uh, and in order to enable this kind of functionality, we need to uh, pass to use native driver the value true. So what will change? Uh, basically, all the React Native animation will be executed entirely on the UI thread. And that is possible just because uh, this animation uh, doesn't use any kind of gesture, but it's a kind of fire and forget animation. So I hope that uh, this explanation was clear, but by the way, uh, you need just to understand that when you use uh, a kind of animated timing method, you always need to pass the use native driver uh, parameter set to value true. So of course here, uh, nothing is changing, but under the hood, the animation uh, is, uh, um, run, is running entirely on the UI thread. So the second uh, animated value that we need uh, to define is the scale value. So let's specify here scale. And we want to animate uh, from uh, value one, uh, actually we want to animate the scale from value one to value two. So here uh, let's uh, uh, animate the timing with the scale. And uh, since we want to animate to value two, we need to specify here uh, the two. And uh, uh, in the end, we just need uh, to pass uh, the scale value here. So uh, here we can see that uh, uh, the animation is working nicely. So um, with, uh, uh, with reanimated, uh, we have uh, two different options. We can uh, animate with the timing. So we can use uh, this kind of I order function, or we can use with spring. So uh, with the React Native animated APIs, we can do the same. So we can uh, um, specify, we can use a spring animation here. So let's reload. So we can see that uh, it is almost similar to uh, reanimated, uh, but I think that uh, the default values uh, from uh, uh, animated spring are a little bit different from the values of the function with spring from reanimated, but under the hood, uh, with timing is a, a function that uh, uh, actually depends uh, of a duration, from a duration. Uh, instead, with spring uh, depends on the physics. So the parameters, uh, the configuration are completely different. So that said, we need to animate just two different parameters, uh, two additional parameters. The first one is the border radius. And the second one, it is the rotate parameter. So inside my first video, uh, introduction to reanimated, I was doing something like that. So progress.value multiplied by size divided by two. So uh, size actually is equal to 100. So let's uh, refactor here the size of the square. And here let's just pass uh, the size constant. So uh, this kind of synt syntax, uh, actually, uh, it isn't working uh, in uh, React Native with the reanimated, uh, with the React Native uh, uh, animated APIs. And we need to find a different workaround. So what we can do, uh, we can basically use the interpolate function from React uh, Native. And uh, uh, with the, the interpolate function, we want to interpolate progress. We need to specify an input range and we need to specify an output range. So um, the progress animation uh, that is uh, uh, for now related to the opacity is changing from value zero to value one. So the input range should be uh, zero and one. The output range must be zero multiplied by size divided by two and one multiplied by size divided by two. So we are going to refactor this of course. So we can see that uh, the animation is working nicely. So uh, actually let's animate the progress from value 0 0.5 to value one. So let's update here 0 0.5 and here 0 0.5. So uh, of course here we can refactor. So one multiplied by size is equal to size. And here we can just write divided by four. 
So uh, the second additional parameter that we need to animate is the rotate parameter. And uh, here, um, in my first video introduction to reanimated, I was using uh, the same technique. I was just multiply. I just multiplied the progress dot value uh, to mat uh, to two pi basically. So uh, it is uh, the, a problem similar to the first one. We can therefore. So here, let me fix. So. We can therefore just use the interpolate function as before. So we need to specify the input range and the output range. So um, as before, the input range will be um, 0.51 uh, since the progress dot value, uh, since the progress animated value is uh, changing from value 0 0.5 to value 1. And the output range will be equal to 0 0.5 multiplied by 2 pi and 1 multiplied by 2 pi. So we can see that everything is working fine. So here let's refactor a little bit. 0 0.5 multiplied by 2 is just 1. So everything is working. So at this point, the missing ingredient is just the uh, repetition. So we need to repeat over and over the animation. In order to do it with reanimated, we can just use the with repeat high order function. So um, with the animated APIs, by the way, is a little bit different and we need to uh, find another way to animate it. So first of all, let's try to focus on this reverse animation. And after all, we are going to repeat the, um, the animation and the reverse animation. So let's just focus on the uh, progress animation. And what we need to do, we need just to uh, animate back the progress animation to value 0 0.5. So basically, we are going to animate from value 0 0.5 to value 1, and we are going back to value 0 0.5. So uh, in this type of uh, uh, form, uh, actually, the animation will not work as expected, uh, since we need to, um, since uh, both statements are going to execute in parallel. So since we want to um, create a kind of sequence, we need to we need to specify the animated dot sequence uh, uh, function, and we need to wrap both uh, both animation inside the animated animated dot sequence. So here, let's say dot start. So here we can see that uh, the uh, progress animation is working nicely. We can see that uh, uh, the reverse animation is working. So we need to do something similar. With the scale, uh, with the scale value, so the scale value will go to value two, and uh, we need to restore back the um, the scale value to value one. So let's reload, and we can see that uh, everything is working nicely. So at this point, uh, we can use a different syntax, and we can wrap both these sequences inside an animated dot parallel. So here. Let's uh, uh, let's copy this code right here. Let's remove the start, and let's call here the start. So we are just going to specify the start animation uh, inside this uh, animated dot parallel, and we can see that everything is working uh, as before. So the last step is just to loop over and over the animation. So the last step is just to use an animated loop. And we can pass here the animated dot parallel. So let's move it here and let's start the animated dot loop. And we can see finally that everything is working fine. So uh, by default, uh, I believe that uh, animated dot loop will uh, iterate uh, uh, infinite times uh, the animation. Uh, but we can specify here uh, in the loop animation configuration the iterations. So let's say just three iterations. So uh, and finally, I believe uh, so that uh, everything is working as expected. So uh, in the end, I think that uh, 
uh, everything was uh, quite uh, smooth, uh, except for this uh, with repeat animation. Since uh, I believe that uh, reanimated is a little bit uh, better uh, with the syntax, uh, especially reanimated too. But under the hood, I think that uh, React, the React Native animated APIs are quite powerful uh, when dealing with uh, this type of fire and forget animations. Uh, but when you need to deal with gestures, I always recommend you to use Reanimated. So I hope that uh, the tutorial was clear. And, and uh, so if you like this type of content, if you like uh, these uh, kind of uh, videos related to animation in React Native, uh, feel free to, sub uh, to subscribe to the channel or uh, leave uh, a comment uh, if you want to give uh, some suggestions for future videos.